Hello once again everyone, welcome back to I Am Alive. Let's just check this. Going the wrong way. Yes, I know I'm going the wrong way, but I wanted to check this room out. To see if there's anything in there particularly. There's a wrecked ship right there. The transmitter must be on the ship, go check it out. But be careful, no telling who's been living in there. So I'm of mixed feelings right now. I've been. It's been a different day. It's, I've had uh, good news. What the hell do you think you're doing? We don't like being surprised by out of town guests. Whoa, guys, I'm take it easy. Say? We're about to get medieval. There we go, bow down, bitch, bow down. I'm now at bullets. Let's get the bow on the go. So yeah, I have it. Good news and bad news. It's like my girlfriend's going through a hard time today with something that's happened in her life, which I don't think I can speak about really. It's just. Hey you! I can see you! What are you doing here, boy? You guys make a fella feel at home. <laughs> Fuck you. So yeah, it's like... Oh, it sucks for her to have to go through this. I just want to help her out and stuff. And she's just like, I just want some alone time today. And so it's like, I've not exactly talked to her that much. sort of thing so it's, it's unfortunate that that's had to happen because I always really enjoy talking to my oh girlfriend fuck. obviously and I miss her when I don't get to talk to her so it's like yeah we're gonna be going towards the back I believe yeah just have a look around it. I can spot any goods. Need them. Items. We can go down there. Good news. Hey! Uh, no way, man! Hey, quick! No! Shoot! Fuck you! I said shoot! with good news of one of my friends is in a relationship which uh, what I the hell you think you're doing? Get I have a gun and get out of here or you're dead. That's it. Just keep right on walking. Please back up. Ha. I hope that didn't, wasn't the way to deal with this guy.
That's the way you do it. You know, so it's like, it's my best friend's got a, with a relationship which I really approve of because I've been chipping them for the last two bombs and I'm really happy for her. Shit like that. It's good. So it's like, so two, two edged sword of news. I think that's the thing of some sort. I don't know. Where did you and your friends come from? Tell me, or you will die. I was enjoying it. You're my hero. You're welcome. But yeah. I guess these guys are gang or something. They said they were looking for a rumored survivor camp somewhere inside the city. I told them I just got here. I don't know anything what happened. Enough of that. I have other things to talk about. Actually, let's go on over there a bit more about that. Yeah. So my best friend's finally in a relationship which with the person she loved for a while and really happy for her. So shout out to Amber and Langston. It should be all so hard. I'm gonna watch these. <laughs> I'll talk to her about her. Eureka. Drillings. So that's gonna be helpful for someone, I reckon. Hopefully, we'll find some other shit in here. Maybe. Yeah, that will help people in the future. I don't know. Let's go back out. But yeah, so it's good. Hey. Yeah. We have nothing this way. It's a uh, Geek Week and shit, uh, as you know, and I've been using Geek Week as a form of things to talk about. Man, that's a bit messed up. Yeah. Uh, and it's for Fun Friday when this is going to be released. Buddy, I'm that's good. So, uh, fun Friday is today. I decided what's the best way to talk about fun Friday than what I am a fan of. And I'm a fan of many, many, many things, and I could talk about a lot of different stuff for a long period of time. But I decided um, asking my friend Amber again. Shout out to Amber. What would I said? What What do you think of me talking about um, my YouTube watching and stuff? Because I do 
watch a bit of YouTube, well, a lot of YouTube. Not only am I a YouTuber of sorts, I don't know. I don't really consider myself a YouTuber, I just put uh, videos on YouTube. But I also um, watch a tremendous amount of YouTube every day, all day. Let's go towards this way first, see if there's anything. Said, yeah, talk about the people you set that you love on YouTube, and I've talked about these people before quite a bit, um, particularly the people I'm going to start with, and I've not mentioned all of them, but. a few of them before. Uh, so, uh, the main one I've, I've talked about in previous episodes is Team Mongoose. And my love for Team Mongoose, particularly uh, Potato OG and what he does on his channel. He's um, a Minecraft commentator who I've mentioned several times before, particularly because he's sort of the guy that inspired me to make a uh, YouTube video, so uh, well, gameplay commentary is particularly focused on Minecraft, which I used to do. If you was looking over my channel from the start, you would have seen that, but it's uh, got to the point where I was recording these Minecraft episodes and it didn't really work out quite as the way I wanted it to. And he'll be glad to get this. Now let's get out of here. Uh, there's just problems with the program that I use, which is the extra tree to record it. But you know, it's still incredibly cool that I he's uh, sort of like an inspirational man, he's my... Hey, you! Yeah. Hey, wait, no. You win! Uh, favorite YouTuber on the YouTubes. Puts up some seriously good Minecraft content, which is his main focus. But he also has these Team Mongoose plays, which are just absolutely hilarious. And I really enjoy watching them and countless other things. Hey, you asked for it. Eat lead. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Ah. <sighs> he wasn't shooting the barrel. Potato is the main outlet of that, but they also do brilliant uh, podcasts, which are you very much no. a joy. Don't you? 
members of Team Mongoose Podcast, which I like. I'm going to try and do, kill these guys again. Damn it, I've got the wrong... Fucking shit the wrong guy! God damn. Members of Team Punk and Goose that I've really got behind is Brain Beast is one of them, though you wouldn't probably know it because he didn't. This hey, no more messing around. Don't walk oh, crap, don't shoot. Let's not be so hasty, okay? Okay, I see your point. <laughs> Fuck you! You mother! Fucking fucking! You will die! Just wasted my bullets, bitch. Get down on the ground now, bitch! Get down on the ground! Fuck you! So yeah, Brainy Beast is another guy that I really like. He's a very... He's all Minecraft based contact. And he, he puts a really good uh, hardcore series. He's, he's done a hardcore series for the last year and a half until he finally lost that world and he started a new one just recently which is pretty cool and he did all these minecraft mini games What's that? Hey. Hey, no more <laughs> which is very very cool and enjoyable the fast paced stuff and a lot of people like always oh no poor my, my hardcore poor hardcore and i'm like oh, but i quite enjoyed it uh, mini games as well. That's the hard cause. So, you know, I might just, I'm just back where I was, but I just got some more pistol ammo, which is good. That's the thing. I believe I'm gonna. Quarantined, so they're sick. That's why it is. They sound like they're dying, but yeah, Pretty Beast is another excellent guy. Um, Terry or Puddles is another uh, one member of Team Angus Planet. Uh, this is one of the main. Hey, how'd you find this place? You got past the nutters with machetes. Uh, he's like a main one. And Lone Ranger. You look all worn out. I have 
some things I can share on these boxes, but just these ones. Help yourself. May you find peace in your travels, you worthless bag of poo. <laughs> I welcome you with open arms, and you rob me. Does no one have any civility left? <laughs> I just did the bad, didn't I? Way we came, it seems. Uh, yeah, he, he's a, and he puts up his own sort of slightly different content to what uh, Potato does. He does a little Minecraft now and then, but not very much of it. He he does stuff like uh, there are all he, he does all, which is very 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 cool and he also plays uh, this game which I recently got uh, called Road Legacy which he's, he's just finished but you know he has a mix of different content which he puts up which is all very very good This way. That's the guy we just saved. Um, yeah, there's him, and then Dole Juices, the, uh, the, the only female member of Team Mongoose. You might think, ah, oh, that's a little. Ah, oh, this, this, this door in it. Might be a little sexist, but you know. But oh, she's a. Rush him! Come on now! Like my favorite uh, the female commentator. This is probably the only one I watch. I've tried to watch others, but she, that just. Eh. I just wasted three bullets on these guys, I think. But you know, oh well. You know. But she, she, she's able to keep me entertained throughout it. Uh, then there's. Uh, Begetta, the lovely man that is Begetta, which I've re uh, talked about many, many times, and I won't go into an obsession mood about him overly much, but he's a wonderful member of uh, Team Mongoose, who's, uh, who follows me on Twitter, and puts up the, the sort of the vlogger sort of type guy, he doesn't really do many games because he's got a shitty laptop, and shitty internet, no offense, Begetta, sorry, but it's true. You know it. Is there anything in here? No. Uh, but yeah, he's he's a, he's a very good guy. And another guy is Josh in Team Goose. I we just played a Borderlands with me a couple of times, which I think I've mentioned before. But I just wanted to say him. Um, he doesn't really put up videos, but he's he's done that, and I just feel like. That should be meant to go back the way I came and try to find a shortcut. Long way or short way? Let's go short way. So we walk up here and <coughs> jump onto here. But yeah, it needs, it's just like. <laughs> Let's 
it's, it's very nice of him to have done that. He didn't, he didn't need to play Borderlands with me, <coughs> but he did, so I'm grateful to him for doing that. But that's the, uh, yeah, Team Mongoose is basically one of the just sort of the standout YouTube channels that I've, I discovered them a while ago and now they're just sort of. <laughs> no. Uh, people who I really enjoy. You wanna know what life is worth now? Nothing. Hey. Not a cent. Here comes a lonely hero. I like a man who knows how to charm a woman. There was an evacuation effort. Long and short, if you ask me. But they did make a makeshift attack. So, yeah. Other gay. I've talked about before a long time ago, but now if it's another one of my favorite YouTubers. It's a shame that he's not putting up content. He, he put up really good gaming content. And he's no longer the sort of doing that. Which is a shame. I uh, don't know where he's going. He might be just busy with his <laughs> own work, sort of. I think we are going over here, aren't we? That was a good choke got. But yeah, he's he's another one who's inspired me to commentate and he's to, just sort of like He did a really good job of commentating I I I, I thought. So you know there's that. Um the usual sort of thing is uh, Toby Turner or Tobuscus. He sort of got me into YouTube. As well as Ray William Johnson, who I hate now, but uh, I like Toby. Hey, used to really enjoy his gaming stuff, but yeah, not so much I now, so I eventually unsubscribed to him a couple months ago, just because he didn't, wasn't putting up content I was really enjoying anymore. It was sort of like, last last few months of me watching it, it was becoming a chore to watch it. And I wasn't really enjoying it, and I I, I just decided I've got too much YouTube to watch to narrow it down to what I really enjoy to watch, which is these to his vlogs. I I quite appreciate them. They're quick, fun, and his main videos as well are pretty good. And so, like I liked his old auto style stuff, but you know you just gotta keep moving on. And the two most adventures are really. Good stuff. Yeah, uh, but yeah. So that's a quick route. Um, yeah. The hotels. Go out across there. I think we can get up there. And we'll have to find a way across there. Some sort of out to get to the hotel. Meet. Who knows what Linda's going through right now? Hurry up. Linda, that's it's the kid's mother. Alright. So yeah, so that that's how I sort of got into YouTube was via him and his literal trailers, which were really good and I sort of miss them really good ones like the Assassin's Creed. Are you going to find mommy? One's really good and he's just sort of he didn't do one for free, which is just a little a bit of a disappointment. Um, um and then through Toby i discovered uh Jack's films, who's an incredibly hilarious man and I 
absolutely enjoy his content. Um, I hope he gets better soon. So he's, he's he's under the weather <coughs> right now. <coughs> So I really like him, and again, through Toby or Jack, I can't remember, I discovered uh, Olga K, which is one of the female YouTubers YouTubers I really enjoy. She puts out really funny content. She was one of the YouTubers I tried to, for, to follow for gaming content, and now she, she's, a, she's got a very good personality and stuff in her vlogs and stuff and she does really good jobs of doing that and she's rushing and stuff like that and she's lovely but she just can't game sorry I mean some people might like that and I also was subscribed to her Mushu channel for a short time but I don't really need makeup tutorials on fabulous as it is uh, but yeah and, and another female youtuber that I really enjoy is Ajustine I, I Again, I think it was through Toby that I discovered I just seen. Uh, and she's just obsessed with techie stuff. She's really cool and she she's she's a pretty funny chick. And I I I, I enjoy her content quite a bit. I and mean, you know some people don't like her and that's fine, that's you're entitled to your own opinion, but I, I enjoy it. She's quite funny, she's very beautiful, like oh, okay, they're both amazingly beautiful uh, I can last longer. Let's have a look around here. Just in case we find out uh, no a pack of cigarettes, maybe. Or some painkillers, then. They'll come in handy. Or a battery, maybe, down here. I oh, don't know. This music's so sort of very dramatic. Shit just went down somewhere ahead of us and in the dust. train track I believe which we can do here yeah so I really enjoy that and the sort of her relationship with Fizz is sort of what I want to be like with Sarah they're just an incredibly cute couple I know there's been other cute couples on you on YouTube's but it's certainly that bring to full mind in my eyes is we meant to go down maybe maybe we're meant to go down down here Um, Rooster Teeth is the next one I 
put on my list to talk about. And I absolutely love Rooster Teeth. I've got into them via Red vs. Blue, which is Halo content. I'm obsessed about Halo yesterday. Uh, but, you know, they, they do other stuff. They've got all this Achievement Hunter stuff, which is uh, fab, fabulous content that I enjoy. Pick up that so they can. And. Um, that's really good, but you know, their, their RTN animations and their podcast and patch is really cool stuff. It's, uh, it certainly helps me get up to date with gaming news and discussion about other interesting topics and stuff like that. And then today, a video from one of another one of my favorite uh, female YouTubers, Morgan Page Loves. She doesn't put up a lot of content, but she's. Uh, Logger type thing. Type person and she just skits and she's just incredibly funny with her how she does it and she, she has very Good opinions on things and stuff. And then there's. Uh, I quite like to watch uh, Epic Meal Time as well. They just create these crazy culinary things. And it's quite good. And then Nice Peter is another YouTuber that I enjoy to watch as he puts up funny things and the epic rap battles of history, which are just brilliant and good things and then Freddy W who does the uh, VGSA Video Games High School which I've talked about in a previous one is an incredibly FFX guy and does that and then from that I was into Jakarta Digital, Digital who are like they come from the same town I think and they do brilliant FFX and they, they help each other out I assume. And then obviously for gaming wise, again I quite like PewDiePie though I don't watch him like um, very uh, a lot. I, I've enjoyed several of his series including The Last of Us which I've talked about and I will look forward to when Beyond Two Souls comes out and he's probably going to be doing that hopefully because that's a game I'm very interested in and would like to see him play but he does it it's slightly differently. He doesn't show all of it. He does some cuts. <laughs> he does get a slightly annoying sometimes with his screaming and stuff, which is why I don't watch all his content. I can't watch it all. I only have a limited amount of time. I'm trying to <laughs> get through all these. Uh, damn it, damn it's good. 808 is another YouTuber who's one of my favorites because he's a hilarious guy. That's Brilliant impressions of Jim Carrey and a bunch of others, and just creates a lot of content which I enjoy. He doesn't doesn't do it bi-weekly. He does it when he can. He used to be able. He's done it before, and he's done lots of videos and weeks. And he's just hilarious. Uh, and then Sean Clipsner again. I almost forgot about him, but I remembered him. He's part of the Cyburns crew, which is Zon, Jack, and Toby, and he's just a funny guy, does funny skits. And I was introduced to him through a Jack, and they're just all funny people. He's hilarious, and then I also found uh, Geek and Sundry somehow. I think, yeah, one of my friends was also obsessed about the guild, and I watched the guild through. Is it six seasons now? Which is a very uh, sort of like uh, sort of TV show like thing based around the video game. More people who are obsessed over playing this video game. Lisa Day, who's an absolutely wonderful woman, and red headed and gorgeous, and, blah, 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 and someone have fangirl girl over. But you know, and it's just hilarious the, that stuff and they, they just done the vloggers channel recently and that's introduced me to a lot more people on 
Well, it's just awesome on that. I don't, I haven't subscribed to their personal channels because I watch too much as it is. I can't find it, but they're wonderful people and shit like that. And then I discovered late last year, Daily Grace and Hannah Hart, two lovely ladies. Again, Daily Grace does all this skit stuff and it's just hilarious. And Hannah Hart does My Drunk Kitchen, which I've heard about for quite a while, and it's lesbian, and it's just inspirational, and she does this My Heart O tour around America, and I think she says she's coming to Britain, which, if she does, and I find out if she's coming to a location near me, I'll get sign up for that shit as soon as I can to be able to meet a YouTuber at last. I've seen, was it Tomska, at a distance at uh, MCM, uh, when I went there, but... There was a big queue of fans, and I wasn't really that much of a fan. I've subscribed to him now since I saw him in MCM. I subscribed to him. I mean, I like AFC DF movies, but I was like, eh, I'll, uh, I got a shirt from him, so that was cool. So, yeah. There was that. Uh, let's see. Niga Higa, that's the guy I'm going to be talking about next. He's Asian and. Brilliant and funny, and one of the top subscribe subscribe channels on YouTube, and just such a good good guy. And then through him, I got to Yum Yum F, which I watched Internet Icon because he's always on that. Really enjoyed season one, where I discovered the Few and Brothers Rydell. The Few are musical brothers and do brilliant covers of a lot of different songs. And Make them fun and stuff, and the brothers ride out on a weird side of YouTube. They just create some crazy, crazy stuff. But they're brilliant, and I watched season 2 recently of Internet and kind of didn't particularly enjoy it as much as I did season 1. It was good, but it wasn't like. Season 1 was just this all this newness and really, really cool, and I really liked how they did that. And then season 2, they just sort of like focused on comedy, which YouTube isn't just about comedy. Look at me, I'm a YouTuber-ish, and I'm gaming. PewDiePie's a YouTuber, and he might be funny, but he's gaming and stuff. And there's Rooster Teeth who are gaming and stuff, and there's just a bunch of other people that it's not just about being funny. It could be... Uh, being able to do vlogs, being able to do blogging channels and stuff, and they just didn't focus so much on the funny side, because that's just not YouTube. I mean, it's a lot of YouTube is funny, but they were sort of like singling out the the, the funny side. I'm glad that Mephias was one, because a lot of people said, oh, Bad Weather Films, who was a contestant in, in the finalist, who had, yes, admittedly, the funniest video out of all three should have won because they was the funniest. But I didn't believe that. I believe Matthias should have won because he created the best video. Like, it was incredibly professional, incredibly cool, incredibly inspirational. And this music video he created called Backwards, which I would recommend anyone listen to because it gives such a good message. I'm just standing here because I got a checkpoint by the way. I don't want to carry on and lose progress or whatever, so yeah. That's why I'm just standing here, Randy Gun And stuff like that, so, you know, that's like disappointing me, but... I also discovered the clones, which is another weird side of YouTube. They're uh, pretty weird. I did subscribe to other people, uh, there, there was a couple of... I, I, I feel that the contestants in Season 2 were a lot better, generally, because they were all really cool people, apart from the Shield Brothers, which I found were a bit arrogant dickheads, I think, because they was on the voice, you, the voice, which is the, the singing program over here, all the contestants, and then they went on to do that, trying to get more fame or whatever, I don't know. That's what I just saw it as, and just disliked it. I mean, they do a good thing, admittedly, but you know, it's like, they were trying to do the food, it wasn't like the few was, were YouTube, they were YouTubers, but these guys were outside of YouTube trying to get into YouTube sort of thing and they thought they could do it via this. And, eh, meh. 
happen, yeah? Most of them were good. Like, their side prediction from season one is just like, I hated them so much, I would just put the lights out. And they got so far in it, and it's like, ah, but, ah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I just read it on about all my favorite channels and got on for a good 40 minutes. Enjoy, Amber. I hope you like this rant. And I will see you guys next time. I'm fucking thirsty as fuck after talking about this for so long. But I wanted to get through all of them. I didn't want to come back to this in a different day. Like I'm gonna do with my gaming stuff that I wrote about yesterday that I could mention on my final. There's many more things I could describe about these favorite channels of mine. I could talk about them for a lot longer than I have, but rendering this video out, it's gonna be a bitch. <laughs> yeah, but yes, thank you very much for watching. If you watch this, good job! You get cookies! And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.